The second phase of police vetting kicked off on Tuesday with issues of corruption dominating the day. The vetting panel wanted to understand the role various senior police officers have played in reducing corruption during their various ranks in the service as well as their sources of wealth. Five deputy commissioners holding various positions in the service underwent the vetting. They include Levin Mwandi, who heads the National Disaster Operations Center, Beatrice Nduta, the Director of Community Policing, Gender and Child Protection, and Leon Nyungesa, Acting Director of Internal Affairs Unit. Others include Nairobi Commandant of Police Benson Kibui and Julius Kanampiu of the Office of the Inspector General of Police. It becomes a problem because outstanding during Duta's session was an accusation by her former boss in Kenya Airport's police unit, KAPO, whom she was deputizing of being rebellious to him. He sees as if I'm running ahead of him as um as his deputy. So I, I was expecting quite a lot. Um, very bad things to be said by him against me because there is no time he really took me to be his deputy. And um, most of the things were pending there. Uh, he did not want, I, want us to work for him. I don't you know. There was a lot of uh, things that were say, being said around because there was a lot of things touching on tribalism and very funny things. So I decided to, uh, to keep quiet. Yeah. And uh, there are so many things that he did not know how to go about it. And uh, sincerely speaking, it was really bumpy. Uh, are you saying, uh, Ndota, that uh, the fact that your boss did not know how to go about many things, your boss was incompetent? Is that what you are telling us? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I don't want to say there is anybody who has any monopoly of knowledge. But if you are coming from another department and you are joining others, it's, it's so due, with due respect that you have others to guide you so that you do the right thing. The then KAPU commander had informed the vetting panel of an incident when Duta had opened a personal letter sent to him. Duta ardently defended her action, saying the letter had no address indicating the recipient. The details of the letter that you opened was about his being confirmed to the rank of Senior Assistant Commissioner of Police. And that letter actually did bear his name. It is further said because a complaint was lodged by the commandant to the then police commissioner that you had forcefully demanded it from the secretary of the commandant and you then did open it but when the commandant did ask you as to why you opened his letter, apparently you did not give him a reasonable answer and you had nothing to respond to that. Letters that are addressed to, to me and in my, absence, my, in my absence my deputy is around, then I can say this letter could be containing very urgent matters. Maybe I'm out of the country, um, I'm off duty or I'm on leave then if this letter has come, surely it cannot be brought home for me to open. It has to be opened. So um, I always take it myself. I've not been taught, but that is my understanding, that anything that does not carry my personal number is not very personal. It is very official. So my deputy is my alternative in my absence. So those letters, I will always say they, they, they should be opened. Nairobi County Commander Kibue, who had once served as traffic commandant, was told to put in plain words measures initiated during his tenure to end road carnage and corruption within the department. Kibue highly praised his service as a traffic commandant, saying that cases of corruption drastically reduced during his seven months in the department. We are impatient. I'm saying this because we are Kenyans. Impatience. People holding. People not trying to abide by the law of patience, hooting, overlapping the culture I talked about. But this thing of kind of uh, dis disorganization and order is the one that we will, we will achieve if people abide by very simple rule of order.
The exercise continues on Wednesday. Margaret Wahito for Capital TV.